Hey, what's up guys? It's Charzy here, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make a working vending machine, which is very, very cool. Now, let's go to our building station. As you can see, here is our vending machine which sells a chicken, a pork chop, and a cooked beef. So, to have one of these, let's have an iron here, put it on the dropper, press the button, choose one of these, and there you guys have it. Have a good pork chop. Yummy, yummy pork chop. I should just get a change. So, I want to show you. So, the stuff you the stuff you will need is, of course, a bunch of iron, food, three types of food, anything, any item, any single item. It's okay. Not, it's okay if you're not gonna choose minecart, but mine is just minecart. A button, box of block of redstone. I think we don't need the glass. I'm so sorry that if I put it there. Stick a fist in. I wanna put it in an the chest, an item frame, smooth stone slab, any slab. I didn't need the stairs. I did put it there. A hopper. Redstone comparator, redstone dust, dropper, and a redstone repeater. First thing you need to do is put a block down there and get yourself some redstone repeater. And of course, I should have exchange that. Have that. And of course, put a button down here. Put, temp put two temporary blocks after that put a block right there and put a hopper down there and after that put a hopper facing down and a chest I, I mean piston put a temporary block break that break that block well, one block here, put a sticky piston facing towards these, put a block of redstone down there, and here, all of the iron ingots, all, all, all of the sails of the vending machine will go through here, and have it, and put, put a hopper facing here. Facing into the chest and hopper again facing into the chest. Let's make sure that it's facing into the chest. So that's good. After this, put a redstone comparator in there. Put a redstone. Do a redstone dash. Put three redstone just to connect into the piston. Put a lot of iron here, so like that, and just wait until this piston will stop. And you guys have it. Now all of those iron will go here. It's a iron, so get so. After this, kind of have this thing right here. Like that, put a block right there. After this. You're going to be putting a block right here, resident comparator, a dropper facing up, and a dropper face facing towards you. Put a hopper down there facing into the bottom droppers for this kind of thing to work. And put some blocks right here. This is basically called the T-flip-flop. And after that, you're going to put a single item down there. And that 
Get that redstone repeater. Get the redstone repeater. Like that. Like so. Put a temporary block in a block. And after this, put a redstone. Redstone just right here. So that's right here. Put a three stick of pistons facing right here. And put a block right here. And just like so. After that, you're gonna put a dropper facing through this block. Facing through there. Let's have it fish like that. And just like that. Make sure you guys that this all of these three droppers face is facing through there. After this, what you're gonna do is put three hoppers right here and put a dropper right put a dropper right here oh no no make sure the dropper is facing you here and after this you must put a redstone competitor a redstone repeater and no 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 redstone dust right here and put a block right here and Put a block right here. After that, just slide on our headstone so it's here. So that when it when the when it when you already press the button for the food, the food will go here and the redstone repair will detect and switch the T switch flop and switch all of these three pistons back to back again so that the customer can Hack it so that you know the customer can't buy again and again and again with paying only one iron. That's me. So put a hopper facing into the dropper, put a hopper down there, just wait it for a while, and put it right here. That, and after that. You're going to be putting a redstone compared to facing that block. Take these two blocks. Um, take this two blocks. Oh, no, no, no. Have this kind of thing. Put a block right there. Break two of these blocks. After that, put this redstone repeater. And make sure that the redstone repeater is at least at three ticks. At least three ticks for it to work. Or else your vending machine won't work. After this, I have it right here, and up, like that, and after this, have it like that, and there you go, and there you go, and of course, for the food, it's actually just item frames and three foods at least oh no 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 so I just have it and put three item frames down here three buttons put, put anything down there so I just have it like that put all your beef down there of course put all your pork chops put all your for all your chickens after this now everything's done just put it in your ingot there and put, press this and even if you can click it doesn't actually work doesn't work doesn't work you can see So that's all for today guys, and wait, I haven't told you, told you yet, if, you, if one of the, if one of your food is out of stock, and like, player is going to pick, after this, he's going to be getting the beef, it's nothing, it's nothing right, so don't you worry if there's nothing, because they can still choose the two of these, one of these two, so that, so that they can still enjoy what they pay. So just like that, and you'll have your chicken. Eat it. 
So, goodbye guys. See you in my next video. Bye.